flowering and non-flowering plants. Arrange these processes in the correct order to draw a life cycle diagram of a plant. The correct order for the life cycle of a plant is seed dispersal, germination, pollination, fertilization, and fruit and seed formation. Name two ways in which a fern plant is different from a tomato plant. Firstly, it's the reproduction method. Ferns reproduce through spores. They rely on pollination for reproduction. They produce flowers which then develop into fruits containing seeds. Advanced vascular system. Both ferns and flowering plants have roots and a vascular system for water and nutrient transport. Ferns can survive in moist, low-light conditions, whereas flowering plants such as tomato plant have adapted to various climates due to their seed-based reproduction. Tomato plants. They have a more complex vascular system, allowing them to thrive in diverse environments. Their seeds enable them to spread to conditions that may not support fern reproduction. This drawing of a flower has some parts missing. Redraw the flower and add the missing parts from the list. Sepals, stamens, anther, ovary, stigma, and eggs. So here is the diagram of the flower. The parts of the flower are petals, anther and filament that forms the stamen, that's the male reproductive part. The pistil consists of stigma, style, ovary, in which ovule is present, and it is the female reproductive part. Label all the parts of the drawing. The question is which part of the flower forms the seed? As you know, the female reproductive part has the ovary. In the ovary, there is an ovule. The ovule is what develops into a seed when the plant matures and a fruit is formed. And the ovary that covers the ovule becomes the fruit. Name the process by which the seeds are formed. The seeds are formed by the process of fertilization. During fertilization, the male gamete, that is the pollen grains, fuses with the female gamete, that is the egg present in the ovule, to form a zygote. This zygote eventually develops into a seed containing the embryo and necessary nutrients for the new plant to grow. Where does your process take place? Fertilization in a flower takes place inside the ovary. Specifically, it occurs when the nucleus of a pollen grain fuses with the nucleus of an ovule, resulting in the formation of a zygote. Look at the picture of a flower carefully. What is pollination? Pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the stamen, that is the male part, to the ovules of a plant present in the female part, which is essential for fertilization and seed formation. Now, how is the flower pollinated? Flowers are pollinated through the following processes. Pollen is carried by insects or blown by the wind from one flower to another. Pollen reaches the new flower and fertilizes the egg cells that is present in the ovules, that is in the ovary to make seeds. The seeds are scattered by animals or wind by the process called dispersal. Pollination is essential for plant reproduction as it transfers the genetic information from the male part, that's the anther, 
to the female part that is the stigma of a flower in flowering plants pollen germinates on the stigma and grows down through the pistil towards the ovule now name two ways you can see in the picture that the flower is adapted for its method of pollination this flower is brightly colored to attract the pollinators the flowers pollinated by birds are strong and are adapted to allow the birds to stay near the flowers without their wings getting entangled in them the flower is tubular and curved and facilitates nectar stacking by birds name one other way flowers could be adapted for its method of pollination its wind pollination also called anemophily describes the process of the transfer of pollen from one individual plant to another whereby the pollen is carried by air currents it means the pollen grains are transferred from one plant to another or one flower to another by wind the adaptations of such a flower is that the filament is long and loose anther is located with pollen it dangles loosely from the filament thus exposing the pollen it's not hidden stigma is feathery and ideally adapted to catch the pollen what is the process called when plants spread their seeds it's called dispersal Name two ways in which the seeds can be adapted to be spread by animals. Plants that depend on animals for dispersal have seeds that are adapted to traveling on the outside or inside of the animal. Seeds with burrs or hooks can attach to an animal's fur. For seeds that are transported internally, plants provide an attractive fruit pulp reward in return for the ride. Please copy and complete these sentences about germination. When a seed starts to germinate, it absorbs water and swells. The seed gets energy from its food store. The root is the first part of the plant that starts to grow. It grows downwards into the soil. The shoot is the part that grows next. The shoot grows upwards. Seeds need water and warmth to germinate. 